The current piece of advice for all the FPV pilots is that you should disable the ADC filter on your OpenTX because this is messing up your tune. Because I'm always flying with the ADC filter on, I have no idea if this is true or not. This is why let's find out and make a practical experiment that will answer a question. If I disable the ADC filter on my OpenTX radio, will I feel any difference in flight? To make things quick and nice, the first HD video will be with stabilization off, ADC filter on. The second video will be with stabilization off and ADC filter off. And then let's compare the results. So, was there any practical difference? You tell me because honestly, I'm not really sure. What I mean by that is that there were no practical groundbreaking difference. Yes, maybe, probably, this is really like hard to feel. It was behaving slightly, slightly, slightly better when I turned the ADC filter on my OpenTX radio off, but it was very, very gentle change. If someone would give me a radio and tell me, please find out if this drone is flying with or without ADC filter, I would have to say that I cannot tell, because in both cases it behaves very, very, very similar to each other. Does it mean that we should fly with ADC filter on if I cannot feel any difference? This is not what I'm saying. If there is no practical big difference, then most probably flying without the ADC filter is actually a better idea. Why? Because in this case, less filtering on your input signal is a good thing. And because there were no bad signs, bad effects of this action, I think that we, as the FPV pilots, should disable the ADC filter on our OpenTX radios because it's not really helping. And if it's not helping, why to have it at all? Bottom line, it felt almost exactly the same in both cases and I'm not really able to definitively say if one or the other is a better option. I'm Paweł Spechalski, thank you very much for watching and happy flying!